Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to learn all about JavaScript form validation. So if you enjoy watching informative tech videos like this one, consider subscribing to Simply Learn's channel to stay up to date on all the trending technologies and also hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So now without further delay, let's begin. So what exactly is form validation? Now I'm sure you must have filled several online forms, right? A simple example would be a new registration for a website. Now, every time you miss out on giving a particular detail or end up giving faulty information, the website alerts you. So this process of ensuring that the information provided is legit is called form validation. Now, this generally happens on the server side. However, JavaScript facilitates form validation on the client computer before sending it over to the server. Now, there are two functions performed. One is the basic validation, which ensures that all the mandatory fields are filled. Now, this is implemented with the help of a simple loop. And the other is a data format validation. Now, this checks the data for its correctness. So, to help you understand form validation better, let's look at a simple demo. All right, so back in my Visual Studio code, I've created a file called forms. All right, it's an HTML file and I've typed down the initial code. Now the simple use case that I'm going to show will include the validation of the email and the password fields in a form. All right, so for that, let's go ahead and first create a simple form. So here HTML allows the form tag. So I say form within which I'm going to provide our fields. So I say input and then the name I'm going to be providing is email. All right, and then I'll provide a placeholder and call it email. And then the type of the input is going to be text. All right, and then I'll let me just give a break tag here. So now let me just copy the same thing for my password as well. So here we go, I say password here. And then the placeholder again will be password. And then I'm going to keep the type as text. And finally, I'm going to have a button, a submit button, right? So let me say button. Type is basically submit, all right? And let me just place submit on my button, all right? Okay, so with the help of this, we've created a simple form. So let me show you how this looks. So here we go. We've successfully created an email field, a password field, and a submit button. And every time I click on the submit button, you can see that my page is getting refreshed. Now, once the user provides the correct email ID and password, we want to display a message, all right? So for that, I've created another file called message.html, and this is a simple file where I'm displaying the message, hello there, welcome, all right? So this is a simple message that I want to display. So for that, I have to add it in my form tag. Now, once the form gets submitted, an action has to be performed. And the action is to navigate to the message.html file, right? So let me just say action equals message.html. Now you can also provide a name to your form. So let me call it my form. All right. So let me just save this. All right, so moving on, we have to now validate the information that is provided. For that, I'm going to create a function here. So let me call the function validate. All right, so here I'm going to check for my fields, right? Now, if the email field is empty, then I'm going to alert the user saying, please enter the email. And if the password field is empty, I'm going to again alert the user to provide the password. 
So for that, we're going to make use of the simple if else logic. So let me say if document dot my form dot email dot value is null. So I'm going to check if the value provided on my email field in my form is null. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say alert. Please provide your email ID. Okay. And then I'm going to say document.myform.email.focus. Now what exactly focus does is that it makes sure that the cursor remains at the email field. That is, it is focused at the same field. All right. So let me just copy the same thing for my password field. So let me say else if. Let me just copy this. Instead of email, I say password. Within which I'm going to alert the user to provide the password. I'll say, please provide your password. All right. So basically, it first checks for the email field and then for the password field. So let me just say finally, else, do nothing. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is every time we click on the submit button, the form gets submitted, correct? Now we can control when the form is getting submitted. So basically the form gets submitted when this function is executed. So for that, we can use another property here called on submit. And here I'm going to call my function that is validate. So let me say validate here. All right, so let me save this and let's check the output. So here, as you can see, let me just try submitting it without providing the email field. All right, so here we go, it alerts us. All right, and once I click on OK, it still displays the message, hello there, welcome. Now that is not what we want, right? So once the email field is empty, it should remain in the same page and the form shouldn't get submitted. But here in our case, it is getting submitted. So for that, we're going to have to make use of return values. So what happens is, if my email field is empty, then I'm going to return a false. So here I say return false, and here as well. And finally, when both my email and my password fields are filled, I'm going to return true. All right. And same goes here. Let me just say return validate instead of just validate. Right. So here we go. Let me save this. And now let's check the output. So here, let's first submit the form without providing any information. All right. So it says, please provide your email ID. When I click on OK, observe that the cursor remains at the email field. So here, let me just give some random value. And then let's try submitting it again without providing the password. And then it says, please provide your password. All right. OK. Now, if you observe that the cursor is, remains at the email field. So let me just check my code once. Here we go. I haven't mentioned password here. So let me change email to password. So let me just provide some random value at my email field and say submit. And then I get a message saying, please provide your password. And now you can see that the cursor is at the password field, right? So let me just give random information there. And then I say submit. And here we go. The message hello there, welcome is displayed.
So this was a simple demo on form validation. So I really suggest you pause the video here and then go through the code once. So with that, we come to the end of this session. If you have any doubts or queries regarding this topic, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be back with more videos on JavaScript soon. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.